Hello, so, hello peeps, I am going to do another video, it's for texture packs on Minecraft Pocket Edition 0 0.15.90, in other words 0 0.16, um, so, first you're going to need a few apps besides Minecraft, you're going to need an APK extractor unless you can, well, um, this one right here is optional, um, it's to extract Minecraft Pocket Edition, so that way you can take out the, um, whatever it was, um, the, I can't think of what it was, and I was trying to, the background sneezing, um, trying to think of what it was, oh yeah, you can take out the assets from the game, or you can just find them online, which, um, someone's gonna probably eventually have them uploaded to Dropbox, or something like that, so, then you'll also need a file manager, I, like using this one that I have, and then a picture, um, not picture, of pixel editor. I use ISO Pix, so I'll show you where to get these. Just type in file manager, I think mine's by RMSoft. You can type in file manager, file explorer, oh no, RMSoft was for something else. This one's by Cheetah Mobile. So, let's see here. That's the file manager, APK extractor. I use this one right here by Meher, or however you want to pronounce that. Oh, nice! I like how the pictures go off of that. Okay, so um, anyway, there's also this other application I forgot to mention. Type in is it file extractor for Android, and I use this RAR one. It can extract any of these up here, the tar, gz, rar, zip, um, bz2, xz, and 7z, and I guess a few others that I couldn't see behind there. Then what was that other application? Or was that all of them? Oh yes, ISO picks. ISO picks. This right here, there's a pro version, but I don't use that because I don't have the money to buy it. So, let's see. Someone made a Rubik's Cube. Okay then, so, anyway. You want to go into your file manager. Well, first, you want to extract Minecraft Pocket Edition, which I've already got it extracted. I did this earlier to make sure it worked. And it works, so, yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. So you'll find it in extracted APKs. It's going to extract is this right here. But I renamed this one to Minecraft. Then you'll go to Assets and then Resource Packs. And it will be labeled as Vanilla. But I already um, moved it over to where it needs to be. So. Games. But. My files are going to be in here and these are files for a game that I will be making eventually called Relista and this is also a re-announcement because I've already announced the game but I don't, like it hasn't been very public yet so And whoever the first person is to watch this, then besides Trevor and um, the one guy that commented on that last video that said that I have a soft voice, will or yeah, um, and whoever saw that comment as well will be the first people to know, and the first person to watch this video will be the first person to know that this is well, the first people to know that this is a um. Whatever it was. Let's see here. Resource packs. My. No vanilla. So you want to just copy the pictures to blocks. Then I'm just going to overwrite the ones that need to be overwritten. Then I'll look for the ones that. um. Okay. So I need to figure out what those ones. Actual names are. I think they're like iron block and stuff like that. Oh hey. Build allow and build. Um, deny look nice. Okay, so, hmm. Knight and Steel, LOL, 
I'll reply later on. Okay, so there's coal block. Let me rename this to coal ore. Rename. Well, it's already coal ore, but coal underscore ore. Okay, there we go. Eh, dang it, I gotta delete this. Delete. Alright. Okay, so rename. I'll do this again. Color. All right. So coal underscore block instead of block of coal, block of cola. So I'm guessing the other ones are gonna be the same style. Which actually I've gotta delete. The coal block. Let me look for the other things I need to delete too. Hmm. I gotta rename the one thing, to, the soil to dirt, um, whatever that was. And rename door stuff to, um, the wood door. Upper and lower. Alright, let's see here. Let's go to the G's. Yeah, I gotta rename this um, engineering table stuff. So I'll pause the video and I'll be back. So um, I ran into this one, um, I guess, complication. Um, so the issue that I found is the site of the grass is actually supposed to be in a TGA file. So to do that, the easiest way I found is to get Mercator. It's from the person or the um, developer who made Block Launcher and Pocket Inventory Editor Pro and whatever these other apps are. So, what you want to do, hold on. Sorry about it being in this angle. So, convert TGA to PNG. Then you want to go to your path. The, or the path that the file is in, I mean. And look for your TGA file. So in this, for us it's grass side. And then it's going to be in, um, I think it should be in the Mercator file. So, Mercator, and let's see. I haven't done this thing with Mercator, Mercator in a while. Hmm. Should be in here. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it's back in here. Hopefully it didn't overwrite my file. Oh, wrong thing. Well, if I knew that, I would have, like, if I knew that was a name like that, then I would have brought my, um, whatever it is, but I think this is also just for the inventory, like, not just for the inventory, but some of the other times, or things, oh, that's what it's called, their puzzle. Okay, so, let's see if it over, right there, if it is over in my dirt block. That's the only difference, I guess. Okay, then. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just open up that one thing into, um, whatever it was. Hold on. I'll open that one picture into ISO Pix. 
Well, I guess you'll unfortunately have to wait until later to see what it will look like in game. <laughs> I don't know. I was really wanting to show you guys what it looked like. But my laptop is very slow and stuff like that, so I'll be back with um the edited files and stuff in the game. Alright, I'm back. So I got all the stuff I needed to be edited as far as I can tell. So Yeah, I think that's just about it that I needed to get done. So, um, this right here isn't absolutely required for this tutorial. Well, for this one, in order to change the grass, then yes it is. Or not grass, the glass. But, um, if you're wanting to create your own, um, texture pack with your own files, like, what I'm doing, this, these are my own files, or if you want to edit the current files, what you need to do is get on this application or some other thing, like if you go onto Windows laptop, like Paint, unless you're doing a transparent texture, because Microsoft wasn't polite enough to add, um, whatever it is, um, add transparency into Paint. So, what I'm going to do is look for my glass pane I think it needs to be named glass pane, I have no idea I don't think it does so I'm just gonna delete the unnecessary things, I need the sides I'll leave some of the white that's in here So, you just basically go like this to change the color, then you want to come in here and do stuff in there. But it's not required for this video. That'd be cool. Oh, never mind, I thought that was the back of the phone up here on this ad. That would be cool if it was the back of the phone. Like if Motorola did a phone that had that and then it had the Moto Mods. That would be a nice Moto Mod, a flashlight. I don't have Moto Z Droid, I still have the Turbo 2. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video for this part, and I'll see you once we're done. Okay, I'm done. So, you can, um, like to save, you either you can click this, or you can click this right here, then file, then save, and then save overwrite. So, I'm going to make sure that that's the correct file. So, or in the f correct file name. So, I'm just going to use one of the other um, things for, oh, also... For those of you who are wondering what this is, this was just something from 0 0.15 that I was doing. Because I figured out how to make an app, an application. Like, not actually make an application. I don't know how to explain what I was trying to do. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just called glass. Okay, good. So, open up Minecraft Pocket Edition. And then settings, profile, texture packs. And I think this is it right here. And it will load. I have a little 
thing right here on my um, shadow shield lens. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Load. Let's see if it works. Yep, I think it worked because that anvil looks like my anvil. See, those are my beds. Yeah, it worked. There's my dirt. Okay, so let's see what all was changed. Move that out of the way a bit. Okay, so this. That. I wonder why that wasn't changed. Hmm. I don't wonder why the coal and gold weren't, well, the, um, coal I can, or the gold I can understand, I guess. No, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so. That's unfortunate right there. The up there is supposed to look like that. I wonder where you can change that though. Okay, so let's see here. What else do we have that has changed? Oh yes, the glass. It looks pretty much the same. Not too much different. But it's glass, so... I was about to go get the observer block, but I forgot that that was not changed at all. Hmm, I think that was just about changed. So... What are you looking at? Hmm... Sorry about that. Okay, so that's how you do it. So, yeah. It's fairly easy. And they, there's a bug in this. You can't do You can't change your skin. And it still doesn't show that. And Steve and Alex. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. See, or you will see the next video. Probably, I don't know, depends on if you're interested or not. So, bye.